Hi, and welcome back to our videos on pivot tables in Microsoft Excel 2010. In this video, I want to show you how to add and work with different fields inside of your pivot table. You can see this pivot table here that we've built in some of the other videos. I'm going to go ahead and click in the middle of that, and that will go ahead and bring up my panel over here, and also give me my pivot table tools up here at the top. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I want to add a field to this pivot table. In this case, I want to make it position. And I want position to be to the right of department. That way, each department is broken down by the positions therein. To do that, all I have to do is drag position over here into the row area. But there's one small trick to it. Go ahead and drag position over. When I do that, you're going to notice right now there's a gray line on the right hand side of column A. If I move my cursor to the left a little bit, you're going to see that gray line jumps over to the left. I can move that either direction. If the gray line is to the left of that column, when I release, that's where position is going to go, to the left of department. I'll go ahead and undo that. If I drag position over and the gray line is on the right hand side, when I release, now you'll see what I get. And that's more of what I wanted. You're going to see here's each department, and it's broken down by position. We also have the little collapse and expand buttons here. And you can see the little minus sign there. I can click on that, and I can hide the detail for that particular group. So you'll see how I can break that down that way. I can also click the plus sign and bring those details back. And there we go. You can control whether or not those little plus signs appear or disappear by going to the pivot table tools and clicking on options. And you're going to see plus or minus buttons right here. If I click that, you're going to see those buttons disappear. If I click it again, they reappear and they now have that ability. You can also turn the field headers off. If I click field headers right there, you're going to see that those labels disappeared. If I click it again, they come back. You will, however, always have some of salary there. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is I'd actually like to place a little bit more information into this table. Right now, I'm showing the sum of every department's salary by the position. So I can see in the accounting department, accountants are making this much, accounting assistants total this much, group administrative assistants this much. But what if I want to see what the average is for each one of those positions in addition to the total? All I have to do is drag salary over into my data area again. When I do that, you're going to see that I get sum of salary 1 and then sum of salary 2. Now, we haven't formatted the second set of salaries yet, so you don't see the dollar sign, but you'll see it is duplicating the information. So what we need to do now is we need to modify the function that this second calculation uses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click right over here, and I'm going to come down to Value Field Settings right here. And when I do that, this dialog box is going to appear and you're going to see it's a summarize value field by and right now sum is selected but I want to select average and I'm going to go ahead and change the name of that from average of salary to just to average salary I'm going to click on number format and I'm going to apply the same currency format and remove, remove the decimal places I'm going to click OK there and OK again and you're going to now see I have sum of salary and average salary. And again, sum of salary is a little awkward there, so I might want to right click on that one and go to value field settings and not change the sum, but just type in total salary. And then click OK, and you'll see that changes as well. And your grand totals also adjust themselves, or the labels for your grand totals also adjust themselves. 
So that's a little bit about how to customize by adding fields into your pivot table. Now, in addition to being able to hide detail by clicking this little plus sign right here, you're also going to notice there are drop-down arrows to the right of each one of our field names. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn some of this off. I'm going to go ahead and turn position off right now. So now we're back to just our departments. And you're going to see if I click that drop-down arrow there, you'll see you get a listing of the different fields. And actually that's almost off the screen right now. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is try that for division. I'll click the drop down there, and there you can see there's check boxes next to each one of my divisions. If for some reason or other we didn't want to see teaching aids, we could hide it just by unchecking the teaching aids box. And then clicking OK, and you'll see that's gone. If I want to restore it back, I just again click that icon to the right of division and check that box. Or I could have also clicked select all. And I'll click OK. And now we're back. You're also going to notice there are sorting tools on here. So if I wanted to sort my department names, they're already sorted for me. But if I wanted to sort them, I could use that option right there as well.